Hey, this is Jay. This is a quick tutorial for setting up a social post or really any kind of image editor using Nano Banana and N8N. And now that Nano Banana, which is Google's new Gemini 2.5 Flash image model, is actually available on Open Router. So it makes it a lot easier to be able to plug it into an N8N workflow. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so this very, it'll be very similar to one of the other uh, workflows I've done, but uh, but mostly wanted to showcase the quick quick ability to connect up with Open Router rather than Google Client, and also kind of showcase more of what uh, NNN can or uh, Nano Banana rather can do uh, as far as being an image editor, which actually is pretty powerful. You can kind of trust it to to do a lot of stuff. Um, so in this case, we're going to do execute workflow, uh, and so what I want to do is say uh, let's change the background to blue. Move the person to the bottom right corner and give them a subtle white shadow and add a title of N8. N8N is awesome. To the top in white. Okay. So I'm going to add this image, uh, my profile image, and go ahead and spit. And so we're using Open Router to call Nano Banana instead this time of rather setting up a Google client, which can be a bit of a pain and uh, having to like create the client, then get the API key through Google Console and all that stuff. Um, in this case, you can just set up an account with Open Router and then just create an API key, and then you're good to go. Um, you may also need to set up a payment account or a, a payment method with that, just because um, if you do too many images, uh, you will blast through the uh, the free free tier. They'll give you a free a few free uh, generations, but probably need to add a, a credit card or something. Um, but with that being done, uh, we should have a new image. So let's go ahead and view that. There we go. So, which is kind of crazy to think that I was able to just take that basic profile image and edit it into something like this with just some text. Um, so super useful in and of itself. But the next thing is that you can actually then iterate on top of this. So now you kind of have a social post template. Um, so now you can just take this image and re-upload it in the next uh, next request and then start uh, creating different variations of it. So I just wanted to kind of highlight that that is a super powerful use case in this situation um, for a, a really simple workflow. Um, but I'm going to walk through the workflow a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it from scratch. And then we'll we'll do something like that. Uh, so in this case, um, the form submit is what I was going to do for trigger. Um, just because it's it's one of the easier ways to be able to pull an image and the text in at the same time. Um, so let's go ahead and set that up. So I'm going to say, just call it social post, whatever you want to call the, the form. Doesn't really matter. Um, edit an image. I guess edit or generate an image for social posts, like a carousel. And again, description doesn't really matter here, but we do need an instruction. So that's going to be the text and the text type element for the first field. And then the second field, we need an image. Uh, so we'll say image here, uh, and this will be file image. And I'm going to stick with just one for now. Multiples are a bit of a pain, which kind of went over in the last last video. Uh, so we're just going to stick with one for now. PNG and dot gif. Uh, all right, so that should give us our form. And so, um, actually, let me go download the one that I just created. N8N is awesome. So let's download that. And then for the form, I'm going to say update the background to a gradient and change the title to like and subscribe. So now we're going to choose file and I'm just going to go downloads and upload that image. So now we have something that can help us create different variations. Uh, so we should see the image here. So that's the original. 
And now we need to update that binary. So we're going to say base64 so that we can extract um, a binary into base64. So extract from file, move file to base64. Um, and then this just needs to match. So we need to make sure that we grab image and input binary field is image. So if we do that, we should get our nice super long uh, base64 encoded version of the image. And now we are going to do an HTTP request to open router. Um, so kind of glossing over again the part here, but you would just come here and create an account. Uh, and then under your account, you can do API keys and you would just generate an API key uh, and you would connect that up here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create this HTTP request node. Uh, it's actually going to be a post method. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the URL from here. So grab it from the one I already started. So I'm going to copy that URL over and I'll, I can uh, include that in the description below. Uh, but we're just calling openrouter.ai slash API slash v1 slash chat slash completions. Uh, and now, so for authentication, we can do predefined credential type, uh, and then we can look for open router. So if we do that, um, I've already got mine, uh, connected, but as, like I was just saying, you would just go to open router, um, go to the accounts and then go to API keys, and then you generate an API key, plug it in here and you're good to go. Then you're connected to open router and you're good to start, uh, generating images. Uh, so with that. The authentication piece is good. Um, the only thing we have left is the body. So we need to send body. Uh, we have JSON content. Um, we are not going to use fields below. We're going to be actually using pure JSON. And so I will provide the request body uh, below. Um, and and I'm, I'm skipping. I don't think we actually need uh, application JSON. That's kind of just assumed. So I'm going to skip that header entirely. Don't really need that. Uh, but I'm going to I'll provide the entire JSON copy paste here. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. This this body is pretty standard. Like most of this just stays the same. It's mostly static. So the model is going to be Gemini uh, 2.5 flash image preview. Uh, message is just the content. Uh, the role of the user and the content. The content itself is just the two uh, two values. So we have the the image itself. Um, so and all of this is all static. So the type is image URL. Image URL here. Um, it is going to prefix with this metadata, uh, but we just need to add in the JSON data. So so all that stays the same. None of this has to change. Uh, and again, if you're just copy-pasting, then you're good. But I'm just dragging data into here at right after that comma and before the quote. Um, so that's the base64 data for the image. And then the next component here is the text instruction that we provided. So I called it something else in the other one. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that in from the on, uh, form submit. So we are just putting in the text instruction here. Whoops. Uh, uh, move that quote. So it's around it. There we go. Uh, so that way we are sending in the instruction that we typed in with the image and all of that's included in the payload. Uh, so now that's going to be sent off to Nano Banana through Open Router and should be good to go. So it should only take whatever, I think five seconds, 10 seconds. Uh, it's usually pretty quick, uh, but we should come back with a payload. Uh, we won't see the image yet though. So hopefully we get a good, good response here. All good. Uh, I can certainly help you do that. Here's the updated image. And then that's the image data below. Can't look at it yet. So we have to do the opposite of the extract from file. And we're going to convert from uh, convert to file. If I just type base64, that will give me the convert to file option. And then at the bottom, you have base64 string to file. So uh, I lied. So we can't do this yet. So unfortunately, this won't work because this is not valid base64 data. Um, it has the prefix here of data. Uh, the metadata of the data image PNG base64 comma and then the base64 data. Um, so this will fail. And for some reason, you can't use expressions here. This is what I would have used. I would have done some JavaScript to like pull it out. Um, but for some reason, you can't do that on a convert to file node in NNN, which uh, I spent a good amount of time learning that the hard way. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to do a uh, JSON edit. So we're going to do an edit fields set and I'm going to do JSON, uh, purely JSON. And I'm just going to do a base64 field here. And we can get rid of the other one. Don't need both. And then for this value, uh, actually, first I'm going to convert this to expression because we can use expression here. Uh, and we're going to pull in that whole value. So I'm going to drag in the URL of the image. So this is where the image data is. This is the URL technically for the image, just because it's in that format. Uh, but we're going to replace this 
prefix with nothing. So I just want the base64 data. I don't want the, the metadata before it. So inside of this expression, I am doing dot replace. And then inside the quotes, I'm going to put that part that I want to get rid of. So that that's the uh, data colon image slash PNG stuff. Uh, so inside of quotes, that's what we're looking for for the replace. And then we're going to replace it with double quotes that are empty. So that means replace it with nothing. So we just get rid of it. Um, so that gives us a pure base64 data. So if I do that, then we now have, I guess once it's done, base64 is, is, is a little heavy. It's a lot of data. Um, maybe not. Okay, there we go. It's a little laggy. All right, cool. So now we have a base64 node or uh, value directly. Um, so now when we go to convert to file, we can use that instead directly. So you can just drag it right in here. And it's good to go. It can reference it as a literal and we're good. So go ahead and execute that. That should hopefully give us the resulting image back from Nano Banana. So let's go ahead and view it. Hey, look at that. It changed the title and it, it gave us a nice blue gradient instead of the solid blue. So that's a success. Uh, and then after that, upload it to Google Drive or wherever you want to send off your image. So we're going to upload file. Uh, most of this is autocomplete. Um, we want to make sure the input data field name does match. So that's correct. Um, the file name, um, I was just doing, I don't know, the theme of this was social post. Um, I am going to add, uh, well, let's convert to expression. I'm going to put just a timestamp uh, to make sure that the file name is unique because otherwise it'll just keep naming it the same thing every single time. Um, so we'll just do that for now. Uh, so I'm going to do now dot format and rather just the rather than just the day, I'm going to add in the time as well. So we're going to do hour, hour, uh, minute, minute, second, second. And that way just makes it a little bit more unique. At least every time you run it, if as long as you're not running it multiple times within the same second, uh, then uh, each file should have its own unique name. Uh, but uh, after that, I think it's pretty much good to go. I mean, again, if you want to change to, if you have a specific folder you want to dump all these into, you could. Um, but otherwise, I think this will upload the file to Google Drive. And there we go. So if I double check, should have my beautiful new carousel image ready to go. So there we go. Perfect. Cool. Uh, so pretty straightforward as far as the system. Uh, I just wanted to kind of walk through that. The biggest upgrade here is that it's really kind of convenient that you can do open router uh, to be able to call Nano Banana rather than having to go through the whole Google client process. I do have a video that kind of walks through the whole Google client setup. Um, so if you do want to do that, you can. Uh, that way you can get a Google API, which is useful because then it gives you access to all this other stuff as far as Google Slides and Google Sheets and that kind of thing. Um, so it's worth the time, but if you don't want to mess with it, Open Router is a much faster, easier way to get connected to Nano Banana. Um, as a little preview for next time, uh, there is a new model out as well called Seed Dream 4.0, um, which is supposed to be, you know, the already the Nano Banana killer, the next level up. Um, so it might be worth playing with that one in a, another video. But uh, in the meantime, I would definitely love to hear from you as far as uh, any other uh, you know, issues or any ideas or any other things you would like to see. Uh, really appreciate the comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll have all this stuff in the description below, and I will see you in the next one.